Eagles versus the Manly Warringah Sea Eagles. Sunday football on nine. Time is running out for the Parramatta Eels and the Manly Seagulls as we welcome you to the Parramatta Stadium for this round 14 clash in the Telstra Premiership. Both clubs at the wrong end of the Premiership ladder as we go into the second half of the season. Parramatta 12th, Manly 14th. And the loss today will see one of these sides lose further contact with the top eight. Plenty of pressure on both coaches this afternoon. Brian Smith, he's hoping his side can put together back-to-back -back victories and relieve a little bit of that pressure, and here is their side. Wade McKinnon is fullback, Ashley Graham and Brett Anderson, the wingers. Junior Lange and Luke Burt, the centres. Daniel Wagon goes to 5'8 as the captain, Adam Dykes at half. Chris Muckett, Lee Hopkins and Jack Afamasaga, the back row. Craig Stapleton, Michael Vella and John Morris, the front row. Their interchange, Witters, Pearson, Sulis and Muspratt, coached by Brian Smith. A real confidence booster for Manly last weekend, 20 to 12 winners over the reigning Premier's Penrith but they have lost Anthony Watmo for this afternoon's match. Brett Stewart is at fullback, Scott Donald and John Hopawati the flanks, Chris Hicks and Albert Torrance the centres, Andrew Walker, Jai Malay in the halves, Steve Menzies is the captain at lock, Luke Williamson and Sam Harris the second rowers, Daniel Heckenberg, Kylie Lula-White and Nathan Hollingsworth. Coming off the bench this afternoon, Dunley, Cleal, Tut and Worry, coached by Des Hasley. Manly versus Parramatta, it is always an inviting clash. The two clubs who entered the league together. Back in 1947, the rivalry carries through to today. It was Manly who, divide, who denied Parramatta a first premiership back in 1976. Parramatta extracted revenge in 82 and 83. Six former Eels in this Manly side, Daniel Heckenberg among them. He's been as good as any player for Manly this year. This young bloke at the back, watch him. He will provide highlights. 19 years of age, a real star. Parramatta, last time here at home, they were booed off the ground. That was round 11 after their loss to the Dragons. They are back in the winner's circle after last week's last minute win over Newcastle. It's the only match they've won since they last clashed with Manly. In round six, it was Luke Bird who scored the match winning try last week off an Adam Dykes kick kicking a match-winning goal here against the Northern Eagles some years ago. Jack Afamasaga, only his third game in first grade. Recommended to the club by a, a player who spent some time at the Eels, Mark Horro. He's in the big league now. Did the lift from Jersey Fleck to first grade in one hit. Hi. Tony Archer. Hi. Will be in charge of this round 14 match. There's going to be a minute silence. Silence observed for the passing of Cole Pearce, former referee, rugby league broadcaster, over 300 first grade matches, and much loved by so many people. And Bob Batty, who passed away during the week, former Manly fullback, first man in the history of the club to play over 200 games for the club. The league has lost two very good men in these past few days. Our thoughts for the families of both the late Bob Batty and Cole Pearce. Eels will run from right to left for this first half. And a little disappointing for these two clubs. So we are ready for a start. It is John Morris who will have us underway. Round 14, Parramatta and Manly. And a high kick comes down next to the upright, fielded by Stewart, and it's Heckenberg who is hit straight away by Vela. Five metres out from the Manly line. They're getting close again, Stapleton rushed up off the line. He had mates in Muckett and Afamasaga up on Lulawai. And it's heavy hitting early by the Eels, leaving an imprint that time on Sam Harris. This is Hopawati running straight and hard. The ground he went in the Hopkins tackle, short side play, Harris wrapped up over the top there by Junior Lange. They are 31 metres out from their own line, it is tackle number five. And the ball for Walker, it wasn't all that precise and they have to rush a kick in. Jai Mullane fielded five metres inside the perimeter half by young Brett Anderson. Head to head between these two clubs, Manly with a distinct advantage there and also here at Parramatta Stadium. It is McKinnon headed across field. 
And first penalty of the day to Parramatta. Last meeting was round six this year. Parramatta winners by six. Only thought they were denied a fair try late in that game. Forward pass ruling. And here is a golden chance for Parramatta early. 19 metres out from the line, and Vela takes the first hit up. Running headlong into Luke Williamson. Now only 10 metres away from the line. Morris at dummy half, to the left with Dykes. And linking up with an inside ball, that is Muckett, the former Cowboy. Tackled eight metres out from the Manly line by Heckenberg. Then with Wagon, he's got 13 on his back. He's playing 5-8, the inside ball there for Stapleton. They are threatening the Eels. In search of first points, Dykes selects McKinnon with his pass, trying to stand in the tackle of Mullane. That is tackle four, nine metres out from the line. Bird at dummy half. Back for Dykes. A little slow, the pass there for Afamasaga. And now the last tackle, five away from the line, and they will look to Adam Dykes again. He is with it, the Parramatta number seven. He's kicked to the corner looking for Anderson, but up they go, and Chris Hicks. He does it all too easy in the end, and it will be a 20-metre restart. That's a fairly poor kick. It didn't put any pressure on. There were a lot of yellow jerseys there, but far and away the best position was the man who defused the bomb. Standings on the ladder going into today. Parramatta with five wins under their belt. Manly four. Here is Hopawadi. Parramatta actually better placed this time around than they were last year. They've won two extra games, which would surprise a number of Parramatta fans. Williamson playing it right on halfway. Here is Heckenberg, gets it over halfway as he runs at Vela. And Muckett and Morris, they're all there to make the tackle. Now six metres inside Eels territory. Walker. I may have thought about the high kick. He looks for one for that corner. And Anderson allows it to trickle over the sideline. And close to the action. Down on the sideline today is the Chief, Paul Harrigan. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Perfect winter conditions down here, 19 degrees. Not much of a breeze to speak of, but you can tell both these teams are desperate to win. But I think the asset is right on Parramatta. Now, when a team hits rock bottom, they only often get one opportunity to get off the canvas and resurrect their season. Now, the win last week against the Knights, you know, got them off a five-game losing streak and lifted their confidence. But the point is, if they don't back it up again today, they're going to lose it. That win last week will mean not much to them. It's a big opportunity for Parramatta to lift their season. They've lost their last four at home, and Graham has picked up, and he's taken back inside the 10. Referee Archer was screaming held at the top of his voice. From a singer almost through, certainly the right arm was free. In the Hollingsworth tackle. And now with Muckett, breaking news this afternoon. It is bad news for New South Wales. Brett Kamali, out of state of origin too, a hamstring injury at training today. They lose the number seven. Disruption when everything was going according to plan. Now Stewart on a kick return for Manly. Morris, excellent chase, Parramatta. Well, the best part about the Parramatta game to date has been the speed of their defensive line that has lacked on a number of occasions throughout the season, but they're getting up quickly, meeting the Manly ball carrier. And it's a good foundation to set early in the game. That's Torrance tackle 22 from his own line. If you're drawing a, drawing a line through home and away form this year, Parramatta two wins from six and Manly winning... Only two of six on the road. It's not going to help. Good run there by Lulawai, one of those former Eels here. It's been a season here in 2003. Walker kicking from halfway. McKinnon doesn't get a favourable bounce, although he may in the finish. That is perfect from Walker. And McKinnon does extremely well to burrow his way back to the field of play. And now Anderson runs a dangerous course across field. He's only a centimetre in the field of play. Now Wagon, they need some straight running. Wagon went across field. An appeal for a high tackle against Torrens. It was denied. And Graham now on the hit up and Parramatta. Well, that is a, a big help, that penalty. It certainly is. I like games like this. Two teams going through rebuilding phase, trying to fight their way out of the cellar. And you can see significant improvement in both sides over the last few weeks as we get into the middle of the season. Little things about their game. Peter Sterling talked about being quick off the line. Their kick chase, dummy half running. All the little things in the game that make a difference. And both these sides have been improving in these areas over the last couple of weeks. Parramatta with Vela. And he is over halfway and offloads. Good ball, Dykes. Then keeping it alive for Afamasaga. Attracting attention there from Walker over the top. And a bit of a wrestle with Harris. Good player, Sam Harris. In the side for Anthony Watmo. 
And now driving defence on Hopkins, and they keep it alive. Parramatta, Vela's the only man back. Three. And had to dive on the ball as the chase came from Walker. Stapleton to the right with Wagon. For a moment, the Eels lose their way. And they settle again, five inside the manly half. Morris has time to kick. It's not good, though. Cop the deflection. And Donald with it. They know what he can do, Scott Donald. Manly almost back to the 40. Plenty of unavailable going into today due to injury. Some long term. Michael Monaghan among them, the halfback. Solomon Amono on the suspended list this week. Here is Williamson. Hit hard. That is a dominant tackle. There's no question about it. From Burton Morris, Hollingsworth, short side play here. Mullane's pass almost knocked the head off the touch judge. He had to turn sideways. He was going to hit it away with his flag. He nearly passed that one without looking. In fact, he did. He expected his man to be there. He'd drawn the winger in too. But hits Donald on the chest. He's away. And that's one thing about this manly side. They've got plenty of strikes. Stewart, Donald, Hicks, Torrens, Hopawadi, Walker. They can produce something from nowhere. Where Parramatta, well, it's likely they're going to have to graft for every point they get today. They won't fluke anything. They're just going to have to work hard. The other side can fluke a couple. So Parramatta on the back of that scrum win. McKinnon. Unavailable for Parramatta. We need a, a bit of time to jot all the names down. Here is Lange. He's 40 away. He's bumped away from two and three. And that is quite a physical effort by the Parramatta centre. Now Hopkins from dummy half. Williamson cuts him down low. 25 metres out from the Manly line. No score. In nine Sunday football. This is Morris for Dykes. Little show of the ball to Afamasaga. Finding Stapleton. And Hollingsworth had a leg. And Lulawai and Menzies were up high. Dykes, 10 out. Inside ball this time for Wagon. Lulawai was lining up a big shot, getting across. He almost pulled it off. Dykes will kick short. It's dumped off the boot. Manly will come up with the ball with Walker. Bit of a tragedy in the end from Adam Dykes. Well, something nearly came from it, funnily enough. If Athen Masaga could have kept control of the football, it probably would have been play on as Hopawati. Good, strong charge, 30 out. It's a missed kick from Dykes, but he gets another one. And there's the number 12. If he picks this up, he just about scores. I told you they wouldn't fluke any. They'll have to work harder than that. Hollingsworth playing it on the 40. Lulawai in a dummy half. I don't think he enjoyed that role. Walker's kick is charged down to the arms of Hicks and held up. Not played at, so still the fourth tackle. Now Hopawati infield with Walker. And on for Harris, not standing all that deep on halfway. He's able to offload. Hollingsworth keeps it alive for Heckenberg. Then for Mullane. Intercept chance there was knocked down by Burt. We will break on Sunday football on Channel 9. No score. The Sea Eagles and the Eels. Close call here at Parramatta Stadium for Luke Burt on the chance of an intercept. We're starting to create an overlap there, Manly, and Luke Burt read that, got up very, very quickly. And he's the kind of man who you want to take the football on an intercept situation because he will go the distance. It's fine, get the arms over, get the arms Another over. set of six, Locked scrum in, 40 metres out from the Manly get line, centre field, good attacking opportunity. And finding Hicks, the pass from Mullane, got through the tackle there of Morris. And held by Hopkins, now Mullane with Harris. Just cut out of the action by Afa Masaga. It's a, a good start for the young man in only his third first grade game. And now Lulawai is again taken low by Afa Masaga. 35 metres away. Flat ball there for Heckenberg running at Vela. Muckett came over the top with Dykes, but Manley's best field position of the game now with Walker. 25 out, ran round the back there of Menzies. It was a close one. Hopkins made the tackle on the 20. One of their chief kickers out of play, that was Walker. Now Mullane's kick on the fingertips for McKinnon. Gee, he's been good for them. His seventh game for the year. He realised straight away that he had to get down, otherwise he'd have been taken back into the in-goal area. He's been a shining light for them in the past month, Wade McKinnon, as Junior Lange slips over 15 from his line. And here is Morris swinging back left for Stapleton, running at Mullane and Walker, the two halves. Again, good metres, back to the 30. Morris, well, the Marcus didn't appear to be standing square, and that is the way Archer will rule. All your blokes stand in front of me. Speed of the play, the ball there for Parramatta. And Morris knew too. He knew they were in the wrong place. He just ran straight at them. Got a relieving penalty for his team. 
I like the improvements in Parramatta structure too. They're turning a lot more ball back on the inside. Bodies in motion. A few weeks ago, they were just going from side to side, threatening no one. At least now you get the feeling someone's going to punch through the line. And now Stapleton. Two hands away! 25 metres away from the Manly line. Williamson there again in defence. Four dykes across field. And a hop and a skip from Afamasaga. Three shots on Albert! Doesn't do him a whole lot of good, but it promises something next time round. There's a good ball. This is the first try. It's Muckett over for Parramatta. The pass delivered. And Chris Muckett scores for the home team. They lead by four points to nil. And put it down to the very quick play. The ball there from Jack Afamasaga. Lovely play, the big step. Luke Burton, we freeze it there. You can see that Steve Menzies had no time to get back, and there's a whole lot of space there as play continues. But Luke Burt, nice right footstep, gets him close to the line, and support play on his right shoulder. Nice lead up. We got a quick play of the ball penalty at the other end of the field, and now a quick play of the ball has led to the try. And this is one of the improvements I just spoke about. Fellas getting the ball in their hands, believing they can create something themselves. A few weeks ago, it was all side to side. Look at Luke Burt. Picks it up. He'll see the space straight away. Slow mark is my job. I'll go forward. Gets in behind the A defender. In behind the play of the ball. Players going backwards. Good footwork. Here's the call. Ball around the corner. Good try. That's good improvement from Parramatta from the last time we saw them play. And now Luke Burt, the man who set it up for that man, Muckett, has the shot at goal from 10 metres out. And it is a 6-0 lead here for Parramatta in nine Sunday football. Paul Harrigan, sideline. Yeah, with Nathan Highmarsh out of this team, these Parramatta forwards are really going to do a consistent job. A good little run from dummy half there from Luke Bird. Drew the, uh, drew the defence there and went out for a good try. Now, the challenge really is here is that we know that Manly always get a bad start. In fact, I think they score 7% of all their points in the second half. So, Parramatta have got to have the mindset. They've scored that try. They've got to restart play again and keep mentally tough. Try scorer there. He's got quite a pedigree, Chris Muckett. Looking up from the Cowboys this year, but back to the year 2000, a, a junior kangaroo, and before that, Australian schoolboys out of Townsville Grammar. It's good stuff from Parramatta, isn't it? That's better. Dig into your opposition. Make them earn their tackles. Make them fight to get up and play the ball quick. Improves your football no end when you can play with a bit of steel and a bit of pace. Oh, the kick from Walker. It was a spectacular attempt to catch the ball, which has now gone dead in goal. It will be a line dropout. Well, every player on the periphery of the field should be standing on the line or outside the line. And I think if Ashley Graham had been standing with one foot on one side of the line and the other on the other, we come back for a penalty, Parramatta way, back towards halfway. Well, give yourself a chance to do that. Move into the football. Oh, just when you think things are going well, you find something else to practice at training on Tuesday. How to catch a kickoff. And this is a great chance for Manly to hit back immediately. And Sam Harris, very dangerous in these situations. Good at offloading, strong runner. Heckenberg, first man in, makes it to the 30. Vella came up with nothing. He went in for the tackle. Stapleton made it. Hollingsworth left with Mullane. There is Williamson and up in his face is Burt. A confidence-boosting start for the Eels, number four. Torrens had a dummy half here, and Dykes wrestles low with Vela. They're 25 metres from the Parramatta line. Parramatta up by six here as Lulawai lumbers forward for another 10. Now 15 away. Hollingsworth, Walker. He had Menzies there on the outside. He's run around the back of Menzies. And now he's driven. He lost control for a moment. And has backslammed for his troubles on tackle five. Second time they've been in this zone with Walker out of play for the last tackle. And the kick from Mullane finds Walker, uh, finds McKinnon. It was a soft end. And Parramatta survived that set. And Des has will be very disappointed with that attacking set. Pretty much four settlers to start it off. They try to move on the fifth, got in each other's way, and then a, a, a very poor kick on the last, kicking it straight to the fullback, Wade McKinnon. Now Morris. Field again for Masaga with that little shimmy. Tackled by Williamson back to the 20, but he's not running any straight lines. Here is Dykes. His kick is off the side of the boot a little. Hicks has got it covered. He's gone back to right wing. He comes back inside the Parramatta half, but Dykes, his heart was in his mouth for quite a number of seconds. 
still contain low. Quite a contrast between the coaches. Des Haslow, only his 13th game today in charge. Brian Smith, 410 games under the belt. Going into today. Hickenberg for Walker. There's an intercept and put down the away again. And Brian Smith knows it. There was absolutely no one at home for Luke Burt. And that was a much easier one than the first one he put down Luke Burt. You can see that coming. Burt has been getting up very quickly. That was very takeable. And I think the coach will agree. Let's before we go in, okay? That was a 12 0 lead. They've got some oh, there's some four. fast men, Stewart and Donald, but, in, Sam, but Bert in. would have had 10, 15 Four, metres start on them. So Manly scrum feed, 35 metres away. That really is dodging the bullet. Now look at the man who threw the pass. He's got a bit of treatment today. Help! Held up that time. They don't get him to ground. Off me. Back for Walker. Hopkins was offside. Two Walker minutes. used him as a slight obstruction. Hollingsworth with Heckenberg running freely and taken front on by Hopkins. This time Parramatta offside. 11 out, 21 metres in from touch, trailing by six points. No suggestion of going for goal. Lulawai with a hit up off the tap. Five from the line. Hollingsworth. And here is Mullane, holds the ball up. And Walker has to dive on it. The man running through was Williamson. 11 away from the line. Walker was slow to his feet. Mullane for Menzies. Menzies steps back off the left. Terrible wall. No chance for Hollingsworth. And Parramatta in possession again. They're imploding inside the Parramatta 20 man. Have a look. 17 and a half gone and the home team leading by six. This is McKinnon. Slid into the Hollingsworth tackle. And Anderson takes off. Over the 30. Parramatta getting out of trouble with ease, really, here. They're back to the 40 now on the back of that run from Hopkins. Here is Morris, infield for Vela, and in a moment they'll be to halfway. Vela makes good ground. Gets it to Manly side of halfway, last tackle. Dykes on the run with a kick. It was a good set from Parramatta. Now the chase is there on Stewart. You can see that right thigh is heavily strapped. He was under an injury cloud coming into today. That's a good area to kick for Brett Stewart at fullback. You don't want to give the young man any space. They didn't do that. Got him in the corner. Nowhere to go. There's Dave Worry about to come into the action. And we've got another mistake from Manly. Where you go? They're doing it well, the Eels. We stood a little bit of pressure. Got an opportunity with the ball. Worked it upfield. Here we go. Kicked it down in the corner. Forced an error. Now they've got good field position. They can extend the lead. All of a sudden, they're starting to look like a football team. Amazing what a win can do. There's aggressive defence from Chris Muckett. Yep. Parramatta scrum win. Dykes to the right. Bird. Bird got away from one. Bird gets away from two. Pass inside is put down. On the first tackle. Already out. Already out. Already out. And the ball already over the touch and goal line. What a let off there. Got him on the head too, it was play on. Yeah, I think Ashley Graham may have actually fallen over the manly defender. And everything but score. Well, unless he could catch it in his mouth, he had no chance of scoring, did he? Hit him fair in the noggin. That's bad luck, that's an opportunity missed. Nice touch, this is the ground where the Falcon originated from. Mario for the crushes. Penalty here to Manly, Vela penalised. Ball, the call from Tony Archer. And Walker looking for plenty of metres with a kick. He's done oh, that. That is a kick. That is a great kick. No room to work with. He's picked up something like 40 or 50 on the fly. Here come Manly. Heckenberg met by Vela. Down low was Muckett. Well, that's just about a 50 metre hit up by Heckenberg. The run he had to get there for the free kick. This is Worry on to Boo. And taken in the three man tackle. Stapleton was first there low with Afamasaga and Morris. Mullane drifts across field inside there for Williamson. Again, the defence is effective. Mucket low, Dykes high. Heckenberg passes for Worry. Rock back there by Vela. Tried to offload. Put down by Menzies. We will break. Just the one try in it. 6 0. Parramatta leading Manly 9 Sunday football. It's certainly a struggle here at Parramatta. 
Home team, courtesy of a Chris Muckett try, leading 6-0. Well, the good news here for the Seagulls is that pass went backwards and Lee Hopkins was unable to clean it up. Not a play within five metres of him. So the pressure remains on the home team. Manly need to get themselves organised here. They're, they're looking to get some second-man plays, decoy runners wide, but they're just not getting the timing right. Vela with a few troubles at the moment for the Eels. Using the hold-up in play. Vela without a try since the 2002 season. Nice day to break the drought. Uh, this scrum, this is a big chance. 22 metres out from the Parramatta line. They've got Hopawati blind. That's the way they come. Hopawati running at Lange. And then he wants to fight Dykes in the tackle. Hopkins gets there as well. And look at Hopper. He's still standing. Hicks out of dummy half. Hopkins goes low in the tackle. They're 15 away from the line. Hopawati, he'll take another dash at them. Pass very flat to Laurie, only five metres out from the line. Hopawati is down for Manly. With it is Mullane. Ball there for Walker. Walker almost oh, through, but Muckett had him. Still five metres out from the line. Out of dummy half they go with a short shot from Williamson. Last tackle, the kick's not good. Parramatta with the ball. It's McKinnon. And their goal line defence has been very strong. They've got players down everywhere. Hopawati is still down, receiving attention from the second tackle. A Parramatta player on his own line. I think it's Muckett. Hopper's got him pulled. He was looking. Well, he's down a John, moment ago. John, I think John. he pushed the trainer out of the way John. to make a tackle. This will be interesting. John will have something to say. Stand up. Stand up. Hey, listen. When you got up play the, when you got up to play the ball over there, he marched forward. That's why he didn't get the advantage on that. Yeah. Then he comes in the latest flock in the world. Okay. Let's Kelly talk to him. Yeah. Good call, latest in the world. Wait. Hopawati. He said, I got there as quick as I could. Let's see, the latest in the world. One, Let's watch two, three. Yeah, he, he's in the grand final. <laughs> so, Parramatta back with it. Stapleton. Oh, Williamson no, there no. again. I think referee's allowed to talk to John. He was standing there with Steve Menzies. I don't think anyone wants to. You talk to him. Two, watch watch out. There's a oh. fight now. It's, it's Hopawati. Hopawati is in there with Stapleton, and Stapleton wants to keep throwing them. Now Hopawati, they're still going. The front rower and the winger. Toe-to-toe -to -toe here at Parramatta Stadium. You don't reckon the rivalry goes back here between these two clubs. Hopawati, public enemy number one to the Parramatta fans at the moment. Stapleton was giving as good as he got. And in fact, he may have even started it. Yes. Right. We'll do it one at a time. Who's, who's the I think we're in for a lively Sunday afternoon. Craig Stapleton, Daniel. Just clipped him with a left arm. Then goes in for a bit of a grapple, I think you'd say, on that Craig. replay. Hopawati. Craig. More than that, it's a... Hey, just listen. So much a show of affection. Yeah, mate, just listen. Oh, the first one, Hopawati. Because it developed into what it is, go and have ten. Go and have ten. Yeah. Stapleton sin bin for ten minutes. Well, Hopper will join him in a moment. I'll talk to you in a minute. I don't think that deserved sure. players to be off. This is Cash Jones' report. John, John, I warned you. Hey, hey, but listen, I just spoke to him down there. You didn't do it. Go and have ten. And ten minutes for Hopper. That's better booing. That's more appropriate. You boo the enemy. That's what they're doing here at Parramatta today. Two teams down to 12. I'm trying to work out what Craig Stapleton did. But did he walk away from that? Both stayed on. 13 against 13. Give the penalty. So Parramatta penalty on their 40. They will go on the attack. 
on the Manly 40, leading by six points to nil. The crowd is in full voice. Here's Vela. Running at Heckenberg. 30 away from the Manly line. Morris linking up with Afamasaga. Well, that's his trademark now, this little hop when he gets the ball. Parachant goes up with Daniel Wagon. 15 from the line. Good low tackle there by Hollingsworth. Williamson over the top, Morris inside that time. Witters, weaving run, back to within five of the Manly line. They are lined out deep to the left. Dykes has got him going that way. McKinnon chimes in from fullback, steps away from Walker, beat another. That was Heckenberg and held up by Stewart. Still five from the line, last tackle. Dykes' first receiver on the right side, he's with it. What's the kick going to be this time? It's off the left boot, what a catch! What a catch by Harris! Keeps the line for Donald! It's good night now! Feller is the only one chasing! Donald away from Manly! How it can turn! Donald races away from Manly, they've got their first try. The agony, the ecstasy, here at Parramatta, 6-4 score. He's a try scorer, isn't he, Scott Donald? Once he got away, it was all over. There's the mixed loyalties in the crowd. And it was a, a poor kick, you have to say, from Adam Dykes. I know it was a very good take, but it went straight to Sam Harris. And what about this for a beautiful ball, realising there was a chance out wide. He's hit him on the chest. That's a bad miss. Poor missed tackle. And once Scott Donald is in any open space, nobody's going to come from behind and catch him. Well, I don't want to say I told you so. But Parramatta will have to graft and graft and graft for their points today. And this other side, with fellas like this, can pluck them from nowhere against the run of play. Just give them an ounce of room, an inch of room, and they're off. Good take by Harris, good pass. And Donald said, look at this, green grass, open space. Sunday afternoon, I'm off. And of course, one of those... Former Parramatta players here found his way from North Queensland, pretty much sight unseen by Brian Smith. That's his seventh for the season, and you can bet that he'll be well into double figures by the time we come around to week one of the finals. Scored 21 tries last year, Scott Donald. Now Walker stares this kick down for a six-all scoreline. That's the story here at Parramatta. Manly fans happy. Paul Harrigan sideline. Well, how good is this? The crowd is going berserk. The big men have crashed together. Two rival clubs. But I've got to say that, uh, look, Parramatta on their own line there, last set, they defended fantastically. Just what they've got to do. It's rare for them to get a try from a long distance. Also got to say, if uh, Michael Vella, that was one of the most inspirational runs I've seen for the simple reason he had no right to chase. He's on the other side of the field. He's a big man coming off for a rest now, but that was well done. Yeah, big stride. This ball sits up for Parramatta. there to take it from Manly. Parramatta Pearson's out there now and quickly out of the line. Dunley went high on Morris. Here is Dykes looking for the hit back Parramatta at six all. Six metres away from the line. Dunley there again in defence. He's fired up. Another one of the former Eels. Wagon inside for Pearson. Runs at Heckenberg. I'd be looking to set up Witters on the far side if possible. Very good from this range. Morris from W half. Changes his angle. Morris to the goal. Is held up. up you go, they will play. come back to play it on tackle five. Ten metres out from the line. Parramatta will have chance to set. If kick is the play, Dykes has left. It's been all his job this end of the field. The kick straight across field. That is not good. The ball bounces up awkwardly. Walker didn't touch it. Leggy comes down with a changeover. This was dogged, wasn't it, from Morris. Mickenberg's there, Stewart's there, Warrior's there. And just a matter of four or five centimetres between the ball and the earth. Here's Torrens for Manly. Again, both teams down to 12 men. Hopawadi and Stapleton in the sin bin. Williamson over the 40 metre line. Taken by Morris. And now Heckenberg, front on defence that time by Pearson. Morris was low for Parramatta. He's got through 16 tackles already. This is Kane Cleal, son of Crusher, one, son up. of Noel Cleal. 42 metres away from the Parramatta line. And Dunley kicking with a left boot to the corner. Graham has turned around. This one is going to go touch in goal. A 20 metre restart. There is Crusher. 
Manly recruitment officer. And here also as Dad watching Kane in action tonight. The block. It is all happening tonight. Special episode from 6.30 following National 9 News. Love, marriage, renovation and tears. It's Matt and Jane. They say I do. Hey, Matt. Coming, 6.30 tonight. Parramatta. Six all here in Sunday football. This is Witters. I dare say playing for his footballing life at the moment. Off contract the end of this year. Penalty Parramatta. He's put his stamp on the game. You'd say that much about Archer. And the penalty count well in favour of Parramatta, 6-2. Des Hazard will be keen to get his charges at half-time to address that play-the-ball area. He wants his side to slow it down, but also not to give away penalties as Parker, 32 out. Now Morris infield with young Sulos. The Jersey Fleck Player of the Year last season. Wrapped up 28 metres from the Manly line. Dunley. He's out there with a point to prove it, but say Morris, great ball, Winners. Good night. Winners is over for Parramatta. Sharp play, Johnny Morris. 10 6 to Parramatta. He's a very clever player, John Morris. Came down from Newcastle. He's been one of their best over the last couple of seasons. And as we freeze play there, you can see just the one marker. That man was still on the ground. Now Morris will go and open up the gap for. This man coming through the hole as play continues. Gets out, draws the first man, opens it up for Dean Witters. Said earlier, he's very good from close range, got good footwork. He didn't need it that time. He just needed to run the right line into the hole. Uh, the old Parramatta halfback had it right. Get it to, get it to Witters on the right, he said. I heard it say it five minutes ago. This fella can play. Good attacking player. Loves those short side raids. Got a good right foot step. There's points in him. I'm surprised he's off contract with Parramatta. I think he's been one of their best through a troubled time. Johnny Morris did well there. A nice little overs play down the short side. Caught the lazy defenders napping. And this fella can find the line. Well, he only got a one-year deal for this year, Gus. Dean Witters. So that was more or less put on notice. Hurts kick from 10 metres in from touch. On this eastern side of Parramatta Stadium. 21 out for a six-point lead again for Parramatta. He's done it. This is a contest. Nine Sunday football. 12-6 the Eels. Then to get into the next passage of play in nine Sunday football. Still nine minutes remaining in the first half. And Pearson is mid front on. Very effective from Nathan Tut. Straight down. Plenty of gusto in the run. Now clear on Sulos. That also good defence. Parramatta up by six here. Hopkins up to the 30 metre line. But they look sharp. There's no doubt about that. And Morris is leading the way at a dummy half. This is outstanding from the Parramatta number nine. He was dropped a fortnight ago. Put one over the top there by Cleal and also Dunley. He's an angry ant today, Dunley. And our last tackle, Parramatta, quick play the ball. Dykes, left boot to the corner. Hicks has to run back again. Stewart is to his own goal line. Chase led by Anderson. Langley's there, they're all there. Hopkins. The invitations were sent out a week ago. They've all arrived. It's a goal line dropout. You can do all the training, all the practicing you like. One thing a coach can't give his team is enthusiasm. That's got to come from within. There's been plenty of that today from Parramatta. Their kick chase has been exceptional. Good hit. Numbers coming in, driving, getting it back into the end goal. It's a game of inches. It's a game of inches. Now you get the ball back. Sin Vinners about to come back into the game. That situation, Brett Stewart, he stood up. You've almost, almost got to go into a voluntary tackle situation and get down low. What's Hopper saying there, Stay Peter? Stay behind here, boys. Stay behind. He's, he's in the ear of Craig Stapleton. No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't be getting on. Oh, drop out. And 40 metres away. Here's the most recent try scorer, Witters. Movement! Come he's to the 30. They're back on. Stapleton and Hopperwadi. Go! Hands away! You would hope that they're not preparing for a, a second round. Morris for Wagon. And on for Sulos, able to offload, back for Wagon. He decides to go back inside for Stapleton. Hopawati's waiting for him. He's able to offload in the tackle. Here is Morris. They are eight metres from the line. I can tell you Stapleton got up, giving the verbal to Hopper. This is footy. Dykes and Pearson. Well, this is where you work the ball through Hopawati to try and get him to come in. Make a wrong decision as a dummy shram from dummy half. Dykes on the last. 
who's going to kick. They need the kicker. Wagon's the first receiver. Wagon kicks to the wing. Hicks is out there. Anderson goes high. Got it back inside for Lange. I had my doubts whether Anderson was on the touchline when he batted it back in. We're off to the video referee, Tim Manda. Your call. Well, there'll be a few things for Tim to look at here. The man jumping up, Anderson. Does he go out? Is he onside? He looks like he's onside there. Yes, there's the kicker, Wagon, eight metres out. Fred Anderson is 10. Man, we will have to have a look at is Junior Lange in relation to where the kicker. He's the man who scores the try. Well, I think he's OK. He's the second man in on the left-hand side. He's fine. I think it's a green light. Do you see anything wrong? No, nah, it's fine. That's good athleticism there, isn't it? Keeping himself within the field of play before he leaps. This is a, a timely time to score points. Three and a half minutes out to the break. There's the green light. The tie is awarded. And, of course, this young man who did back the ball back in came in late into this match. Matt Peterson out injured. And Daniel Wagon doesn't kick a lot during matches, but he, he got this one pretty much where he wanted to. Out to his winger. And from then on, it is a bit of a lottery. Chris Hicks was a little bit further in field, and then he did well to pick up the scraps. When you've played a few games as Daniel Wagon has, I mean, he's not noted as a kicker. All of a sudden, you've got the confidence to do something like that, Peter, haven't you? He's not renowned for it, but it was necessary. It was fifth tackle, the kick had to be made, and even though he's not a regular kicker, he's got the, the composure and the maturity to execute it. He's also got the captaincy too, so you know, that goes with that responsibility. Adam Dykes was playing the football. You know, if he doesn't put his hand up, maybe nobody does. Luke Pert now. A chance to make it three from three. Could have had a try this afternoon. And a chance here to add to his personal tidy and the, and the team. Looking to take the margin to 12. The kick, not a good strike at all, either with direction or strength. It's 10 points the margin, though, Chiefs sideline. You can feel the enthusiasm. You can feel it. The crowd can feel it. I can certainly feel it. And you can tell in the second half between these two guys, it's going to fire. I'll tell you what Hopper said there. He said, stay paid, you and you got one on me? And he's saying, you didn't. You didn't get one. You've got nothing. I heard him say it. Plenty of fire there. Plenty of rivalry. That's what it's all about. How good is this? Sunday football, it's all-time greatest. It's unreal. <laughs> Chief, the drive down from Newcastle. And the first time they met, having come back onto the field, those two, Stapleton got up and gave Hopper a gobful. Walker has taken plenty of time. He's soaked up a little bit too much time for my liking with his restarts this afternoon. It's, it's dead time in the game. And on the restart, Parramatta. They will come forward with Pearson. Movement! Got to move. Look at the, the wall of defenders there to meet him. Warry there, Dunley. Need to change players involved. Two hands off! And he was on their 20. Anderson played it. And back with Graham. Menzies front on in defence. Parramatta, three tries to one in this first half, leading by 16 points to six. And now Stapleton playing it for Morris. He's been so effective. He's taken off again. Every run has been with purpose. Good selection. Last tackle here for Parramatta. Dykes will kick from 45 metres out from his own line. Hicks has been the man... On the right wing for kick returns. And a good chase here by Pearson. Remember if you can't get to the game, get more than just the score with nine's NRL snapshots. Here's a penalty to Manley for inside the 10. You can get action photos, match reports, the ladder, as well as round results. All you need is a mobile phone capable of receiving pictures to register. You text the message NRL to the number 1880994. Manley not finding the line. And Parramatta with McKinnon. He turns it into attack. And Walker makes the tackle. He loses the ball. Dykes gets to the line. Now for Burt. Almost back to halfway. That was well done by Wade McKinney. He was going over the sideline in the Walker tackle. Threw the ball back. Andy Walker going for too much in the kick. You've got to get off. Yeah. And Wade McKinnon realised from about 20 metres away it wasn't going to find touch. Trying to find every available metre as we get close to halftime. McKinnon, he got there. And then in the tackle of Andrew Walker, realised he had to get the football back. Well done. Three and a half remaining in this first half. Look where Parramatta are. Knocking on the door again. 15 out, Stapleton. Taken front on by Williamson. And now at a dummy half goes Morris again. He's five metres from the line. Dunley, the defender, for Manley. Intense pressure on the Seagulls. And they trail by 10. 
Pearson shaped the run around with Dykes. Oh, and then had Winters steaming through on his outside. Dykes up for Stapleton. Working hard. Warriors oh. there in defence. With him is Tut. They've got time to get one into the in goal area. Another set of six at the end of it if they can. Last tackle. Dykes kick. Ricochet. Play Tut is there the for head. it with Manley. Play the ball. And it is Back play on. I think Archer and all of that set off his head. It ricocheted off his boot to his head. And now Hopawati for the Seagulls. And look who's there, third man, Stapleton. Whispers a few sweet nothings in his ear. Dunley a dummy half, for Cleal off his own goal line. Three, movement! Manley 12 metres out from their own line. Off break. Hopawati ready again. And he's over the 25, and the boos are there from the crowd. As I said earlier, well directed today. 28 metres out from their own line. Manley with Hopawadi for Walker. Last tackle, kicks from inside the 30. Work here for Graham. Gets it on second bounce. He's got McKinnon if he wants to link up. He takes the tackle on the 40. Mullane first man there for Manley, their halfback. McKinnon at a dummy half, running at Torrens. Now still 90 seconds remaining in this first half. Dykes with it as Witters. There's an opportunity to attack left there again. Stapleton only six hit-ups, but he's got up to the 56 metres. Morris inside for Pearson. Taken low in the tackle there of Williamson. He's made 22 tackles. Leading count for either side from this first half. Lange. He was all bravado there. He's kept it alive. He wasn't actually making a whole lot of ground. Give a short kick for... For Luke Bird or something. Well, here they run it. Lag them back on the inside over to Dykes. Well, they might have gone forward, but it's play on. And the chases here are onside. Anderson on Hicks. Anderson has knocked it forward. Hopkins will finish it off. But I'm pretty sure it was knocked forward by Anderson. We'll check it with Tim Manda. I don't think there's any doubt that the right arm of Daniel Anderson has knocked this forward. Of Brett Anderson, I'm sorry. There's the kick. Chases are onside. Brett Anderson comes, jumps, right arm, big roundhouse here from the number 19 on, on Hicks, and it's definitely touched it and gone forward. Gee, Gus, how many families out this way have got one Parramatta fan and one Manly fan? I wonder if they met at a Parramatta and Manly game, all these people. There's husbands and wives and kids. Look at this. <laughs> ah, that's good stuff. On a Sunday afternoon at Parramatta, and these two great rivals going head-to-head. -head. They pretend to hate it. They really do like each other. They really do. And no try and a 20-metre restart. In fact, I'm prepared to say if Stapleton and Hopawati actually sat down and got to know each other, they'd like each other too. Would you? I would. They've just got to take the time to talk. Well, let's just watch how the relationship develops this afternoon. Hopawati there. No sign of the number eight in defence. Back in field here for Williamson. The good stats, 23 tackles, seven hit-ups, first half. Where's the chip kick here from Andrew Walker or Jai Mullane? Time running out. Worth a shot. And then a fair way, fair way back. They're going to take a little short side play here with Kane Cleal running at Witters. He's oh. one metre inside the parameter half. And Williamson, they take another non-adventurous play. And now only seconds remaining in the first half. Walker, he'll leave it to the last to chip. Warry is offside by about 10 metres. Now McKinnon, he's called out of the play. McKinnon runs back. Tries to step clear, had it knocked out of his hands. Play on, Warry back. Manley still in possession. Dunley still on for the Seagulls. Now that will call an end to the first 40 minutes. But it's been quite hectic at times. 16 points to six, three tries to one in the first 40 minutes. We will break in nine Sunday football. Parramatta, the home team, leading Manley. Back with more in just a moment. Sunday football on nine. And these two clubs, who last year played the first the Golden Point game, that was round 10 last year at Brookvale. Today they start the second half with 10 points the difference, and Pearson takes the first hit up of the second half. Movement. Off the bench, only his second game in first grade for the year. Dunley, his left arm is caught underneath Corey Pearson. Sulas is hit front on by Hopawati, and Hopawati stands. Side, but big Hopper has 
has pulled off the biggest hit. No, 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 Steve, I've made the decision, mate. I'm not changing it too early. No, 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 no. Yeah, inside the 10. What's behind you? Go back. They're leaving at the same time, okay? Yeah, I've told you. I'm watching that. Holden go the same as them. Go. Well, he came up with a couple of huge ones last week against Penrith, John Hopawati. Unfortunately, on this occasion, he's been ruled to be offside. Shoulder charge there on Sulis. That looked like helicopters on their way down. Sulis got up thinking, what did I do to him? It wasn't me in the first half. I wasn't anywhere near the scene of the crime. Here he is again. That time Lulawai went up and he can hit. He's probably the, the biggest hitter in the Manly side. Sulis is stunned. He's 22 metres out from the Manly line. Yeah, he's done his shoulder to Pierce. He says to the referee, Archer, I cannot play the ball. How tough is that? How tough is that? He's just nodding at the referee saying, I'm no good. It takes some heart to be the man to take it up just about straight away after copping that kind of collision. Well, he rips it in. Hopperwhite, he comes over the top again. He's attended by two players. Over the top, down he goes. Yeah, look, he pops the shoulder out. And he will go from the field. Watch this. No, no good. I'm no good. Puts it over his... Oh, that's tough. The well, play restarts. The change hasn't been affected yet. Sulos still coming from the field. Parramatta 20 metres out. And Wagon with it. Short pass there for Witters. Sulos only now off the field. Vela is the man who comes on. They're 10 metres out though. Parramatta Dykes, good ball. Here is Hopkins stepping back in field. Offloads there for Dykes. Eight metres from the Manly line. They lead by 10. Early minutes of the second half. Morris gets it to the end goal. Looks strong. But only just. 20 minute restart, two gone, second half. Wait, wait. Yeah, the idea was good, it was just a little bit too much weight there. Junior Lange arriving late. I thought Lee Hopkins should have passed the football in the previous ruck. They'd opened up an overlap. Manly restart, 25 out from their own line. Lula wide tackle. So Manly coming out of trouble this time. Wagon delivers a bit of blue and gold. Heavy stuff. It's a knock on against Manly. And look at them swarming. They've come from everywhere to pat him on the back. This is a shot. Bang. This is getting real physical. Real physical. And Parramatta are about to dish out a little bit of their own. Look at the blue and golds coming to congratulate their skipper. Good stuff. They've got the ball back. We will go to Chief shortly with a special guest. But Parramatta on the attack. We will see what develops here. Here is McKinnon. Stepping into the clutches there of Walker. 22 metres out. The Eels looking for back-to-back -back wins. His winners, some good footwork. Almost got him through the tackle there of Tut. They go the short side with Burt. Torrens had him. Five away from the Manly line. Looking to crank it up the Eels here. Dykes inside for Stapleton. Back for Dykes. He's 10 metres out. He'll get there. season we saw him do this on a number of occasions do a little run around behind play straighten up he looks to be a couple of meters quicker than we've seen him in the last few seasons he's worked hard on that part of his game and this has come from nothing it's come from ordinary defense one little fend there on scott donald gets close to the line only tut and stewart to contend with that is one well that's a soft one and you love to score those tries at least peter they're changing the point of the attack this week no, it looks a little bit soft defensively, but at least they are asking some questions of the Manly team. Dykes turned the ball back inside. There's an offload. You've got players going which way and that, and all of a sudden you can find space. Inside to Stableman, the defence has got to adjust. One low, doesn't cover the ball. Now he gets it up. The defence starts to panic. Through the gap. You know, he's got a winger in field. He doesn't normally defend there. Brushes past him and finds the line. When you move the ball and change direction, things can happen for you. And for Manly, well, if you start a fight, you've got to be prepared to finish it. And at the moment, they've started the fight, but Parramatta are right into it. 
Dyke, seven tries for the year. Now, Burt, 10 metres in from touch. The left boot of Luke Burt. There's another two. Here in nine Sunday football, Paul Harrigan's sideline. I have Nathan Kayla Sydney here on the sideline. Well, a great start for the second half. Tell us what Brian said at halftime. He just wanted the boys to continue with the energy they've been playing with uh, last week and the first half of this game. That's probably what's been lacking the last few weeks, and the boys are going well. And after last week's win, it seems to me, I know this game's only half over, but it seems like you've turned the corner. The confidence, everything's changed. Yeah, it's a tough thing when you're losing, but the boys recognise that they had to put a little bit more effort in, a bit more enthusiasm, and that's what win, wins footy games at the moment. So the boys are working hard on it. OK, mate, just give us a quick update on your arm. Yeah, we've got about eight weeks to go with, with the arm. Um, had it re-operated on Friday, uh, but should be right to go in about eight weeks. Oh. Lovely, mate. Thank you very much. Just quickly with, uh, with the Manly team, I can see you. Oh, 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 big score. Oh, what about that? Lulawai has gone high. A fella. We may have a send-off here. Lulawai has flown in. They may check it with a video referee before any further action is taken. But Chiefy has run out. video ref or the referee though I've seen worse I'll say that I'm tending to think it's not a send-off but he'll obviously be put on report and we'll have a serious charge to answer I'm just thinking in the flow of the game it's, whether the referee's gonna well, make a statement it, here it, it, yeah it is starting to get a little bit past the simmering point the tackles on report There's time off. You go back and you talk to your blokes and you settle settle them down, yeah, right? Yeah. There's too much rubbish well, in this place. Now. You can't. Hey, hey, listen. No, no, no. There's too much rubbish. Okay. Go and settle them down. You got time off? Go and yeah, talk to them. Same as your blokes. They're not doing a thing wrong. Hey, hey listen. Good. Hey, listen. I'll tell you what. Lee Hopkins blokes like that is having to say back to him. It's aggravating the situation. Go back and go back and talk to him, Daniel. I've, if they're talking hey, to listen, you can talk back hey, listen, to him, mate. If you don't want to take the advice, that's your decision. That's your decision. It's your decision. Hey, look, I don't condone, you know, high shots in our game, but I, I have to say we do see worse right through the course of a season where players aren't sent off. Put, that was very spectacular, but it didn't strike me as a send-off immediately. Chief, sideline. Yeah, just before that tackle, I was about to say that Des Hasler, his main instruction was to lift intensity. He said, Parramatta's putting all over the top of us. I want to see big hits. Well, Hobbers answered the challenge straight away with a couple of big ones. We're seeing this. This game is full of tough men this afternoon. These are the ones you miss playing. It's all happening. 40 metres out, Parramatta. On the charge, up comes Dunley, misses Pearson. And Pearson pops the ball for McKinnon. It was forward. Even little Dunley was rushing out of the line, looking for the biggest shot he could possibly give. Didn't have much effect on Corey. Wasn't even a speed bump. Just went straight past him. I think the referee handled that well. I don't think it was a send-off offence. In the climate, he could have taken a tougher action to send a statement, but he's got both captains in. Is Corey not happy about that? This time, Wagon got rugged with Walker. Wagon's already got the big hit on Nathan Tuck. Well, we've got to your attention now. This match hasn't it at home. Under predict what will happen over the final 33 minutes. Well, it's important that both teams, they don't lose the enthusiasm they're trying to play with now, but they have to maintain technique. Manly, they're still in this game. Absolutely no doubt they are still close enough. Here's Hopawati. Hopawati has left them behind. He went straight over the top of Hopkins. 20 metres out. Dunley at a dummy half. Now 10 out. High ball. The touch judge come into play again. Well break. Nine Sunday football. 22 to 6 here at Paramount. Nine Sunday football. 16-point ball game, but just for the last five or six minutes, the scoreline has, has become secondary. No one cares about the score at the moment. We are totally absorbed by the struggle. And that's why I'm saying that the team that settles down quickest will take a big step towards winning this game. Parramatta are in a winning position here, but they've got to make sure they don't get baited into something. While Manly, they have to lift their intensity, but don't have themselves penalised out of this game. 10-3, the penalty okay, count. He's working him over. Now, what I told you about there, settling your side down, this is something different. There's been a number of penalties for the hold down. If you continue to hold down, I will go to the next level. Go, take the tip. I, I just wonder if it's not John Hopawadi whether we have the penalty. John Hopawadi's had three shots today and he's been penalised every time. 
I'm not saying John Hopper is in the right, but I'm just saying the referees do look at players like him. Here's the tackle, three-man tackle. They roll him over. Wow, I can't see anything wrong with that. And he gets straight off him. Vela took the hit up from the free kick. Here's another one. To halfway. It was Pearson the first time. Vela the second. Now it is Afamasenga. He's taken. He carries Williamson with him. 38 metres away from the Manly line. Morris passes back for Dykes. Then for Witters. That right foot step taken low by Mullane. 31 metres from the line. Dykes infield for Morris. Back for Wagon. And lovely defence there from Steve Menzies. Last tackle here for the Eels. McKinnon for Dykes. He kicks back to the right corner. Donald is the man going back. He will have to make a play at this. Scotty Donald could hear the footsteps getting very close of Ashley Graham. How much difference to a team's performance when you come up with a, a good last tackle play? Adam Dykes got that inch perfect, and now all of a sudden they get the football back. On a bad day, they roll over. The opposition come out 20, and away we go. And they've done what you said, Peter Parramatta. They've settled down to a little bit of football. This has been a war today, an absolute war, where occasionally a game of football breaks out. And it's Parramatta that's playing the football. Manly, they're still involved in the war. Stay behind. Well, we didn't write them off a couple of weeks ago against the Sharks. They came with a rush. They scored three unanswered tries about this time of the second half. Vela running back at Heckenberg. 30 metres away from the Manly line. Dummy half is Morris. Infield for Dykes, then for Pearson. Shrugged away from go, one stand. and then thrown oh. to ground by Lillewai. Oh, go. 29 away, Morris. Dykes, infield for Afamasaga. He is confronted there by Tut and Williamson. 20 out from the line. Williamson's tackle count now 27. Morris, he's been good all day. Got through the Menzies tackle. 10 away, Mullane finishes off the tackle. Dyke's dummy half, left with Wagon. Look to pass right, goes left to Pearson. Pearson flicks it out the back. Good pass and over goes McKinnon. Well, did Williamson fall off? Tim Manda called into the play again. That's good football all round here. Corey Pearson knowing that Wade McKinnon was coming back on his inside. Lovely ball. Williamson comes across, makes the tackle. Well, it's a not, a, not a double movement, Phil, if Luke Williamson has lost hold of Wade McKinnon. And I'm going from the reaction, sorry, Gus, of Luke Williamson. His head goes down as they will. I did lose him. Well, it's whether or not the second player has arrived in time to get a hand on him. I, I say try, but I don't know that he'll give it. Well, he's given it. There's another one of the manly Parramatta families here. Oh, they love that guy. 26 to 6, Wade McKinnon, the try scorer. Hey, Corey Pearson tried to force a pass a little bit earlier. It went forward on this occasion. The big fella gets inside the 10, deliberately gets it into the right claw. And Wade McKinnon is able to slide out of the tackle of Luke Williamson and carry Stewart across. It's a good reward for this kid because he's always following his forwards. He's looking for that all day. You might notice the one where he gets it and scores a try or make a break. But you don't notice the other hundred times in a game that he's there just in case. And he keeps going to the game just in case. He deserves a try every now and then from an offload from a big fella because he's always there. Can't help but think there's still plenty more to offer in this game. It's been too physical a combat style game to an end here. 28 to 6, Paul Harrigan sideline. Yeah, impressive try there from Wade McKinnon. A great little try. I've got to say, after he scored that and the try was awarded, I could tell with the Parramatta team, they absolutely they hugged each other. The emotion come through, and you can tell that they finally they finally think they're, they're bonded. They've won a great battle. It was a physical battle out here. They got on top of that one, and they're also winning the football battle. They really have turned the corner. It's a big game for these boys. Look at them. They're excited. Manly with Walker on the restart. 28 to 6. Six all at one stage in the first half. Pearson runs back and manhandled by the defence there of Dunley. He has played with fire. Shane Dunley coming off the bench. Vela. Two-man tackle. Now out of dummy half goes Morris. And taken low there by Menzies. 
Earlier, earlier result today, the other match played. In fact, the only other game played today in this round 14. The Tigers, massive win over the Warriors in Christchurch. It did count as a Tigers home game at Jade Stadium. So just a liberation. The Warriors win last week. Back to their woes that beset them before the, the departure of Daniel Anderson. Here you go, Parramatta with Hopkins down the left side. Lange, 20 metres out from the line, looking to leak up with his winger, loses the ball. Changeover. Well, it was the last tackle. It was a good option. They got on the outside of their opponents, but Junior Lange needed to throw a pass about there or get a kick in. In the end, it was a fairly meek surrender after a, a very promising move down that left side. Manly on their 10. And heavy defence. Hicks has lost it. Knock on. Plenty of pats on the back again. Hopkins. High five. Daniel Wagon. They're celebrating everything, Parramatta. A lot of emotion coming out in this game today. They've withstood the war. Param uh, Manly picked the fight. Parramatta have won the fight. It's come down to football. Parramatta's winning that. And now every little thing they do, they're celebrating. This is a team that two weeks ago, people were saying was the worst in history for the Parramatta club. Daniel Wagon passes out wide. Luke Bird, he's got speed. He positions his man. He takes the corner post. Well, tell you what, the Manly player, Torrance, may have taken the corner post. Oh, I've got my doubts about post, this one. Parramatta again celebrating. I'm not sure whether Ashley Graham believes that he's got the football down before he's taken the post. Here we go. Post is gone. No try. Well, it's no normal try. And it is a penalty to Parramatta. I just hang on, There's got, there might have been a for, further action taken there. What happened when he made the video decision, you came through and in a dangerous fashion you led with the leg OK to push him into touch. That's why it's no try because he goes into well, touch, no, but, but that's why it's a penalty OK? Just going to well, that, that's what it is, it's a penalty OK? OK, so that's on there. It's on report, that incident, the penalty's up here. <laughs> what did Steve Menzies say? Beaver's, he's, a, he's a good young bloke, Beaver. Why don't you give him a penalty try? He's benevolent, he is. Well, run me through the Jamie Ainscoe Melbourne Storm decision then. If, if, they've, if they've done that to stop him scoring a try, why isn't it a penalty try? Well, play continues 10 metres out. I'll let you think about we'll it. Read about it tomorrow. Five metres out from the line. Parramatta leading by 28 points to six. I reckon oh, Albert Torrance is in a heap of trouble, though, in the ensuing days. And that time, Parramatta lose it. We will break in Sunday football. Have a think about Gus's question. 55 gone, it's 28 to 6. Let's Sunday get in and stay at in Parramatta way. Stadium, a game that has in some ways had a bit of everything. We haven't really Torrance, reached perfection. Parramatta fans love the scoreline, though. Here is Torrance. Two hands away. And that is 15 metres out from the line. You know, play the ball. Could have gone right both there. ways there. Could have gone either way. He was in a rush to get to his feet. Manly get the penalty. They've had very few this afternoon. Double figure count for Parramatta. Well, the crazy thing about this game, we've still got a, a mountain of time left. We've got 25 minutes. And Manly, if they could just score two converted tries in, in rapid succession, 28-18, you're looking over your shoulder a bit nervously in a game where you believe that you've got it pretty much wrapped up a long way from home. There is still time for Manly. They have to be patient. They have the points in them. And Dunley, he got away from three. Then passes for Heckenberg. Heckenberg is only 20 metres away. Wagon gets into a contest with a football. Dunley. Walker inside with Williamson. Vella wrapped him up over the top. Now they're only 15 out from the line. Walker again as first receiver. Mullane, it was knocked down. Walker dies on the loose ball. And he says he hold on tackle four. Menzies, a crossfield. No straight runner there. Unloads to a flat-footed Williamson. He straightens up. Wagon makes yet another tackle for Parramatta. And now the last tackle play. It's very scrappy from the Seagulls. They're going backwards. Hicks, he's almost 30 metres out from goal. That's where the changeover will happen. They totally lost their way. So Parramatta come up in possession. It's the first time in quite some time that they've been under any sort of pressure defending their line, and it ended up no pressure at all. Oh. Lulawai again coming through, hitting Pearson. We've got Andrew Walker down in back play. Very physical. That's Walker down 
38 metres out from the Parramatta line. How did you tell from that shot? Now for Masaga, he's 35 metres out from the line. And now Parramatta right dykes inside for Stapleton. Wasn't really running for any depth there. Dunley in defence. Last tackle, Parramatta. McKinnon for Dykes. Plenty of time to kick. There's no pressure on him. Pressure, though, on Stewart to make the catch, and Stewart does it. He's a good young player. We haven't seen much of him today. A scuffle in the back plate. And again, it was Dunley. This Hang time. on. There's trouble. Donald through the centre. McKinnon was last line of defence on the Manly Speedster. Well, that's almost sin bin, that. John Morris coming back on side. He's not 10 metres. He's not 10 metres, Daniel. I've made it. You don't reckon the Manly fans moved off the edge of their seats when this bloke saw a bit of space. Scotty Donald. He was away. And only McKinnon to make the tackle. 41 metres out. Manly forward with Heckenberg. On for Menzies, the captain. And held up. Now 31 away. Dunley left and then goes right with Williamson. Again flat-footed. Almost got through the tackle, though, of Afamasaga. 21 away in good field position. Sam Harris. He's now nine metres from the line. Big chance with Manley. Mullane. Thought about the cutout ball. Got it round the corner. Top shelf. They've caught it for no try to Albert Torrens. It was all class from Jai Mullane. 28 10. And is it the start of some sort of comeback from Manley? As we said earlier, they have got time. Nice ball work. If we freeze it there, you can see that he attracts two defenders and he's able to get one around the back as play continues. Coming up a little bit quickly there, Luke Burt. And the opposing number four strolls across. Nice play. Saw that the man had come up, Luke Burt. Did well to keep it from going forward. Touchy might have helped the referee on that occasion on the call. Yeah, they're skillful today's players, aren't they? New synthetic footballs, or I've had synthetic footballs for a while, but the way they hold them and they're able to get it into one hand, get it around the corner. Beautiful sleight of hand there. Show it inside, show it outside. Put it in his right hand, just popped it around the corner. Great play. And there's one Parramatta fan in the stadium now who feels safe. Even though their side lead by 18, make that 16. 28 to 12. Manly still in the contest. Quarter to go, Paul Harrigan. Yeah, I just want to give a wrap to Daniel Heckenberg and also Kylie Lulawai. Now, these two guys have worked there. They've worked really hard all day, but particularly in the uh, in the first section of, that, uh, of the second half, it was physical, it was tough. They're right amongst that stuff. Now they've got to refocus their energy and create some real, a good platform and go for it. Because as Sturlo pointed out, there's 20 minutes to go. We all know Manly can come home on a wet sail. They do it just about every week. So this game is in the balance. They need good go forward. By the way, Chief, just on Gus's question, penalty try in the corner. For Graham, what yeah. was your answer? Yes, I think so. No, I'm, I'm against that. I, I'm not certain he would have scored if he hadn't have led with the knees. Maybe the body contact would have been enough. The grand final one, there was no doubt that the tackle made around the head was the reason the ball went loose in, as he was about to score. Manley back to halfway. Good follow-up to the try. Dunley will play it on halfway. I thought about that for a while, Andrew. Mullane back for Lillawai. And Hopkins... There in defence for Parramatta. There is life in the game. Mullane on the last tackle. He too had time to kick. McKinnon stands his ground and makes the catch. Walker deciding not to compete for the ball, just there to make the tackle. So they start the set on their 20. Graham is met front on by Dunley. He's playing and attempting every tackle like it's going to be his last, Shane Dunley. Maybe the trainer just tells him you're off in a minute. Come up with one more. We saw Manly against Cronulla a couple of weeks back. And they scored a lot of tries late, and most of it came from Andrew Walker. And as the clock ticks down in this one, I think we'll see Walker try a few things. The little chip over the top from himself or for someone else. Parramatta here is getting in each other's road, 40 out from their own line. I think that man on screen, the number six, he's got to try and come up with something a little bit different to give them a chance. Kick from outside the 40, fielded by Chris Hicks. And Hicks on the bring back, a fend away from Muckett. Taken low by McKinnon. And now Manley on their 30. And this time kept alive for Hicks. 
into step, taken there by Shane Musburat. Another former cowboy in this Parramatta side, Hopawati on a run, on a mission. Over the top came Muckett, low as Witters. Now Heckenberg, another hit up, this time Vela in defence. Heckenberg, 20 tackles, 10 hit ups today. Three years he spent at Parramatta. Williamson, last tackle 40 metres out from the Parramatta line. Manly, big play needed from Walker. He kicks Kane Cleal, the 17's offside. He's leading the chase. He comes up for Menzies. Menzies is going to go over. But I am confident that Kane Cleal is offside here. And a knock on from Kane Cleal into Steve Menzies. You heard the referee say they were looking at a couple of things here. The, the onside of the chases and whether Kane Cleal gets a touch. Kane Cleal goes through. He is well in front of Andrew Walker there. I don't think there's any doubt that he's a metre in front. Number 17. He gets well involved in the play. This would be no try on that alone. The happy couple, the pensive couple. No try. That's the reaction. Not happy. He wouldn't even accept the video evidence. Now, the distressing thing there for Manly is we can see that Steve Menzies was onside. And all of a sudden, they would have had six points. It's just a little thing, clear, not believing that the play was going to come back his way, just strolling through, and for the sake of a metre, has probably cost his side six. So Parramatta back in possession. Stapleton, and he's headed towards the sideline. Donald was dragging him that way. Parramatta with Dean Witters, one of their try scorers from the first half. Heckenberg and Cleal taking him back towards centre field. Now Morris hasn't been quite as effective at a dummy half in this second period of the game. Parramatta to halfway. Menzies made the tackle on Muspratt. Here is Burt at a dummy half. They're good metres. Another 10. Now 39 away from the Manly line. This time Morris runs with purpose. They're getting a little bit closer. The Parramatta chant is up here again at the stadium. 16 and a half remaining. 16 point ball game. But plenty of tension. Burt's bomb to the wing of Hicks. And Hicks, he's good under the high ball. He was at Penrith. He's carried that form to Manly, and he defuses that one. Plenty of drama too tonight on the block, following National 9 News at 6.30. We've got a marriage on. Matt and Jane, good luck to them. They say, I do, love, marriage, renovation, all tonight on the block. Following National 9 News. Body language from Manly, not good here. Not getting into position to attack with the football. That's Williamson trying to bust open. But there's, there's little enthusiasm out there to try and get these points back. By the way, on the block, they reckon Matt's a Manly supporter and Jane and Eels fan. Last one, stand up. Last tackle. Manly, Walker, tries the chip. It's over the top. Now he needs a bounce. Gets it. Needs support. The support isn't there. Wagon dies on the one. loose ball. Tackle one. And Archer already called help. Walker wanted to walk away with a stripping of the ball. Wagon was having none of it. Here's McKinnon. Bounces into Dunley. Two to me and hold. Hold. Go. Realising the chip at this stage. Walker, good play. Here is Witters. Front on by Menzies. Back here and hold. 38 metres out Go. from their own line. Parramatta. Back in field for Lange. Another one of the try scorers from the first oh, half. Right that Can time it was Heckenberg around the legs. Lange plays for a penalty. Doesn't get it. Good play by the marker, Harris. No play there at all for Burt. Last tackle, Dykes drives it for the corner. Stewart's got a chase back. It'll hold up in goal. There are five Parramatta chases there, and Dykes, the kicker of the ball, makes the tackle. That's a big play by the number seven. Manly five metres out from their own line. Here is Hicks. And a number of their players still getting back onside. 14 and a half remaining now. Hoping to post back-to-back -back tries. Hoppawati played it on the 20. Here is Heckenberg running at Stapleton. And in a combination there with Muspratt, they have the Manly front rower down. Dunley taking off at a dummy half. Inside ball there for Kane Cleal. He left Muspratt behind, got it back to the 40. Last tackle, Manly. Look for Walker again. This time he'll go deep. It was from outside the 40. And the bounce is friendly for Parramatta. McKinnon rushes back. Bounces away from Mullane. Almost did likewise in the challenge from Torrens. 35 away from their own goal line. Ash Graham. And Williamson. Tries to come up with a dumping tackle. 
Morris, more metres out of dummy half. He was met in the end there by Menzies. Five metres inside Manly territory. Anderson comes in off his wing. Played a big part in the laggy try in the first half. They're 30 metres from the line, short side. Opportunity, winners. Only the fullback in front of him. Winners with a step. He scores behind the black dot. Parramatta. All the flags go up. All the supporters are loving it. Their team, back-to-back -back wins. They're staring it in the face. There's been much more speed about Parramatta in general this afternoon. Speed of their defensive line. They play the balls. If we go down the short side from this play, the ball, strong tackle there on Anderson. If we freeze play there, the dummy half has been smart enough to realise that there is only one player and that there is plenty of support down that side. As play continues, off. We just had the man on the outside, decided not to use him. One-on-one, -on -one, he's always going to be difficult to stop. He's, he's good close to the line, Dean Wittes. Coming off both ends, actually. Had a good game, Dean Wittes. So too is the dummy half, John Morris. I was at Roosters training during the week, and our Premier League coach, Ivan Cleary, was watching a reserve-grade game from a couple of weeks ago. And in that game was Adam Dykes, you can see in the background, and John Morris. They are playing Premier League. They were trying their hearts out, and nothing was going right for them. Two weeks later, they're back in the top grade where they belong, and they're having a field day here at Parramatta. Another two to Luke Byrne. Nine Sunday football. Joy on the Eels' faces, 34 to 12. <laughs> Parramatta Stadium here for nine Sunday football. Short kickoff from Andrew Walker hanging up there. It's knocked forward there by McKinnon. Play on for Cleal. Manly get possession. They want to play it like it isn't over. Heckenberg. Spinning in the tackle there of Pearson and Muspratt. The ball twins. Now, flick pass from Mullane for Cleal. And again, the two Baldies are there to make the tackle, Pearson and Muspratt. Infield with Harris, flat ball, Menzies. Menzies back for Harris. Flick out the back to Williamson. Intercept, it comes up for McKinnon. It would have been a magical manly try. And to save the day, Wade McKinnon. The excitement just keeps Go. on coming in this game. This great offloading and great support play. Three. Look at that ball from Harris. And three juggles from Williamson. Parramatta in the meantime, oh, five metres inside their own half. And a dummy half goes Lange. Last one. He has tackled Good 40 coming. metres from the Manly Last line. One. Last tackle here. Morris to the left with Dykes as a chance to run. He got away from Walker, kicks for the sideline, comes up with Anderson who can't gather it in. And that was the last tackle. A clever play there from Adam Dykes. Deliberately kicking for the winger. We've got one of the Parramatta players leaving with a shoulder injury. Michael Vella coming back on. Three sleeps to go Wednesday night. Game two of the Origin Series for 2004. We are live from Suncorp Stadium Wednesday night, 7.30. And the big news from earlier today, Brett Kamali out of that match. Suffered a hamstring injury at training today, their final hit out in Sydney. He will not make the trip to Brisbane. Phil Gould will join us, of course, for the post-match here today. And by that time, we should have a replacement worked out. It was Hicks for Manly. Chris Muckett was the player going up the tunnel for Parramatta. Manly 40 metres out. Cut out ball, Cleal's put it down, play on, here's trouble, here is big trouble, Donald chasing Burt, Burt is the fastest in the Parramatta side, and he's got enough to get there. Brian Smith, why not? You've been under intense pressure. <laughs> Parramatta another try, and Burt, he failed with two intercepts in the first half, he's got one now. And nice to see some smiles on the sideline, we saw absolute jubilation after Luke Burt scored last week up at Energy Australia Stadium. And a sense of satisfaction for the coach this afternoon. Luke Burt striding away. He nearly did this early in the game after a couple of intercept attempts. And why not? It's been a, a good performance from Parramatta under a lot of pressure. And you have self-belief out there, but I just I agree with Phil Gould. They've improved in the little areas of the game which play such a big part, and a lot of that has to do with the speed they've done things at this Arvo. Not just today, he's dropped about three intercept attempts that I've seen in the last few weeks, Luke Burt, but he gathered that one in nicely. And just on Brian Smith and the Parramatta Club, I mean, a couple of weeks ago, everyone's calling for Brian Smith's head. That wasn't the way out of trouble for the Eels.
you've got to rely on a man's experience to get you out of the cellar. And they had one of the most experienced here already at the club. There he is. He'll sleep a little better tonight, but you know, by his standards, he'll still look for more improvement. And there is more improvement in this Parramatta side. And to the credit of the Parramatta club, they've stuck 100% solid behind Ryan Smith. And that's what a coach needs. But successful again, quite a healthy tally for the Parramatta centre, Paul Harrigan sideline. Yeah, that trial gave Brian Smith great satisfaction there. Justin Sulos on your screen right now. He's torn the cartilage in his shoulder and he won't be back for the game. It's a real shame too. I've been watching this kid for the last couple of weeks. He's got a big future, so he might miss the next couple of weeks due to a shoulder. And Bossy, just on that state of origin halfback issue, Brett Kamali injuring himself at training today. There has also been drama with the likely replacements as... Uh, the medical officers of the state camp ran the various clubs looking at options. Uh, but we'll report on that after the game on, uh, on what's transpired since Brett Kamali did his hamstring. But I can tell you there's been plenty of drama this afternoon. I'm feeling good, Vossi. I think I've got one left in Have me. Have you got one in you? <laughs> Sterling Fittler. I don't think I've got a minute left in me. Sterling Fittler. Is Brett Kenny fit? we got a high tackle here, I think. Yeah, Dunley. Well, <laughs> he's putting yeah, buildings he knows, to it. And... Warry's only just come back on, but Dunley's been well, he's been threatening to do that all day. You can't question the aggression and the effort from that man who has come on the field, Shane Dunley. That time he overstepped the mark. Pearson gets those legs moving. Got past Menzies. Torrens got in front on. Now Morris inside for Vela. Dunley ran up again. He will not quit. One more shot. Let me have one more go. Morris passes wide for Dykes. Then on for Wagon. Just in those two passes, that's slicker than what we saw probably only two or three weeks ago. 40 metres out from the line. Dykes down the short side. Lange got them turned around. Scoreline is getting a little embarrassing for Manley too at 40 points to 12 with six remaining. Now they head infield with Young Anderson. Only second first grade match. Ten out from the line. Hopkins, Dykes, all Parramatta. Here's another one, Morris. I don't think there's a man on the field who doesn't deserve a try more than that man. It is now 44 to 12. It's a carver. It's a dead set carver for Manley. And a lovely ball there from Adam Dykes. He's just looked like the general out there this afternoon, directing things. And on this occasion, it's a great line run by the try score. If we freeze it there. You can see he'll run into that hole, but back at that angle as play continues. And Dykes just puts it on the chest, comes back against the grain. And John Morris, yeah, look, he's been, he's probably been their best player in the last couple of seasons. Played a number of positions, most notably the number nine on his back, and he does deserve one. Well, they're the two players I was just talking about. Three weeks ago, they were playing Premier League. The coach dropped them, Morris and Dykes. Not only were they playing Premier League, nothing was going right for them. Today, well, they're calling the tune. They're steering this Parramatta side around the field. And Parramatta have settled down and played football under a lot of pressure and come up with the goods. And the kick successful from Luke Burt. Another two for him. He's got a try and seven goals. 46 to 12. The ball for Johnny Morris. A beauty. Manly plays plenty of numbers there. They're all headed the wrong way. Very good decoy run there from Daniel Wagon coming back on the angle as well. That attracted Steve Menzies out of the line. In fact, three men went to Daniel Wagon, and that certainly opened up the hole for the try scorer. This overshadows, I guess, the good news for Manly during the week, signing Ben Kennedy to come forward from Newcastle to a two-year deal. That would have been buoyant after that important signing, but... Now, that's a hat. Parramatta on the restart. They're looking for 50. Pearson runs back. Front on by Worry. Now to the right side, Stapleton. He spent 10 in the bin in the first half after an altercation, quite a lively one with Hopawati. And a dummy half they go with Afa Masaga. He's back to the 30 metre line. He's only playing his third game, young Jack. Wagon works left. Hopkins, confidence now to run the football back for Wagon. Now I'm thinking it's 2001, this sort of form, this attack. Parramatta, chair is up yet again, Pearson looking to find McKinnon, that's what Gus was referring to earlier, McKinnon is there in support, plenty of times where he doesn't get the ball, now the kick, it's a little deep off the boot from Burt, needs a bounce, Stewart 
Back to his goal line. Look who's leading the chase. Big Vela. Collars his man. The front rower on the fullback. Three remaining. Look out. And here goes Hicks. Hicks is away for Manly. Up and over the 40 metre line. McKinnon. Classic defence. Paul Harrigan sideline. Have Brian Smith with me, Brian. This must arrive. Great set of. Oh, there's yes. another break for you. Oh, oh, winners. It's again. winners. He's 30 out. Now he's 20 out. Finds his man. Here's the half century. Feathers are a flying. <laughs> Goodbye, Seagulls. Hello, the Eels. Shane Muspratt brings up the 50. Chief Harrigan, speak to the coach, please. I'll speak to the coach. Great satisfaction. What a game for you. How do you figure football out, Chief? I've got no voice, mate, but it's not through the game. I had no voice before I got here today. I'm suffering with laryngitis. Not only did you win the game, and it was a fantastic effort, but it was a very physical match. You won that as well. It's pretty hard to win a, a, a game of footy in the NRL this season, unless you at least cut square and probably dominate. But, you know, we knew we were in for a physical part. Manly always come and, and have a crack at para. Long before I've been around, it's been going on for years, and they did it again today. But we managed to, you know, I think we shaded them in the physical department, as you say. Hey, just quickly again, last week against the Knights, defence won you that game. From that game onwards till now, do you feel like you've turned the corner? Can you feel the difference in the players are training? There's definitely been a, a, a difference, I think, since Nathan Hindmarsh really stood up and said his bit publicly, and there was a bit privately that, that our senior players have really taken control of the situation. And, and probably the best thing from, is that I'm not feeling it, it's, it's them that's feeling it. And they, they said last week that this is the first time for a long time that they felt like that the bloke beside them was on the same page indeed, that everyone was committed and, and that's what it takes. It's a beautiful feeling today. Well, mate, a wonderful game of football. Congratulations. Well done. Thanks, Chief. 52 to 12. Peter, you played in a match here many years ago. What was it? 64, 64 to 12. 12. We, led 12 manly one. we led 12 6 after 20 minutes in that game. And uh, thanks for bringing it up, Andrew. But this is much more satisfying this afternoon. And it's been an array of scorers for the <laughs> Eels, oh, hasn't it? Member of the Parramatta Support Club. Well, the Chief loves a game of footy, doesn't he? It doesn't matter who's playing. It doesn't matter if the Newcastle Knights are there or not. He loves coming and watching a physical encounter. Try scored. Plenty of action. And despite the scoreline, we've seen plenty this afternoon. Oh, Jack Affermasaga. Athletic stuff. What about the couple who have watched this game today? We'll have an interesting dinner. Oh, I bet he's shouting. She won't be cooking tonight. He'll be taking her somewhere nice. I bet that was the bet. Muspratt headed towards the sideline. And over he goes into the referees on the sideline, I think. That's OK, because he, he went into Dr Michael Johnson. If you're going to get thrown over the sideline, get thrown at the doctor. There they are. I bet there was a bet, darling. You shout dinner. This is the story of their day earlier, watching each decision unfold. That's a no-try to Manly there. That was when Kane Clear was offside. There, there, dear. You'll have your day, just not this week. Countdown here to the finish. What an afternoon for Parramatta. They have scored nine tries to two. Round 11, they were booed from the field today. They get a standing ovation in round 14. We will break in Sunday football. Parramatta 52, Manly 12. Coming up, the wrap-up with Peter Sterling and Phil Gould to reveal the halfback replacement for the Origin Wednesday night for the Blues.